Yahushua's real suffering on the cross. Several movies are showing the event of the Passion of the Messiah. Most of them are moderate, but others are simply disgusting, reducing the sufferings of the Messiah to a vulgar horror show. What else to expect from an anti-Semitic director anyway? It's very surprising how most of the people, believers or not, are only focusing on the physical and psychical sufferings of the Redeemer, the nails, the lashes, the crown of thorns, the weight of the cross, the insults, and the humiliation that entails. Although Yahushua's real and unimaginable suffering was much more spiritual, the redemption was not limited to what could be seen from the outside. The larger part of the iceberg, the essence of the redemptive work, was happening at much deeper levels, not only physically and psychically, but also at the spiritual level. It was on the cross that he defeated death. On the cross, at that precise moment, he saw and felt all the sins and sufferings of all men of all times. He put on the judgment of our sins in place of all of us, whether we accept it or not. Many times our own sufferings seem almost unbearable to us. Can you imagine what he felt at that moment experiencing alone the pain of billions and billions of the whole humankind? At that very moment, he appeared as the High Priest Yehoshua before the Persecutor, the most ancient enemy, who wanted to impart the responsibility of his own sins to the saint who never sinned or committed any transgression, as we can read in Zechariah chapter 3. It is easy for me to write these few words about the real suffering that our Savior endured at the crucial moment of his ministry. This is also part of the mercy of the Almighty, because indeed, anyone who could glimpse these things for only a fraction of a second would surely not survive to the pain. Even if so superficially, I have acquired a certain notion of the nature of his real suffering. As in all areas of life, it is impossible to distinguish the level of flesh and mind from the spiritual dimension. I think it's very important to be aware of what the essence of the redemption is, so that our relationship with Yahuwah can deepen even more. He did not just die on the cross for our sins. This is another important factor which is rarely mentioned and which many forget. That the blood of the Lamb was not only shed for the forgiveness of sins, but also for the healing of our sicknesses and wounds. It is very important to restore the image we have of the sacrifice on the cross, because the overwhelming majority of evangelizations focus exclusively on the forgiveness of sins. The Gospel's message is therefore weak in itself because the notion of sin is unknown to the majority of people since they do not even know the law, the commandments, which alone is capable of unveiling sin. Moreover, and paradoxically, the forgiveness of sins is often preached by Christians who do not even recognize the validity of the law in the Messiah themselves, so that their knowledge in this area is only very superficial. Therefore, Non-believers need a visible and inwardly perceptible encounter with the Savior. They need signs, they need wonders, they need healings, deliverances, and be filled with the Holy Spirit. This is how they can recognize the truth in Yahushua and heed His word, so they can open their eyes to what sin is. Thus they will be pushed from within to want to purify themselves of their old life by immersion in water in order to be able to be born again and to commit themselves to the path of sanctification.